All right, so let's now write a test case for the member class. Specifically, we're going to test the uh, uh, trainer attributes over here. And let's now go to the package uh, package explorer. And then we're just going to go to the uh, test member class. We are not really testing the trainer class directly, but rather we are testing the uh, member uh, member class uh, and, and the methods that we just created in the previous video. All right, let's maximize the test member uh, class here. Let's go all the way to the end, and let's now create a new class over here, right? Okay, uh, sorry. Okay, here. Let me just create a little bit more new line over here, so you can see uh, just centered. All right. And let's now don't forget you want to say at uh, test over here, right? Okay, public void, and then let's say test. Uh, let's say member trainer. Okay, let's say 01. So we might uh, develop more. You can also feel free to, to develop more test cases uh, yourself if you wish. Okay. Okay, so that's the uh, new test we want to do. Let's say this. We want to create three members to begin with. Okay, so I'm going to say member and let's, let's use my favorite uh, names. Let's say Alan will be new member over here. And then I'll just say Alan. You can see, okay, notice one thing here. The Alan over here is the name of the variable that's going to store the address of this new object over here. Whereas the Alan over here is a string value that the object stores internally. Right? So notice the difference over here. All right. And then we got another, uh, the second member, let's say member uh, mark, new member, and then with the name mark. And also member, and also Tom, new member and Tom. So now we got a question right away. We can write multiple, we can write as many assertions as we wish in a single test. So what's going to be the trainer value after all the three members are initially created, right? So let's go back to the member class just to find the hints. If you go back to the member class and then, so this is the version of the constructor that we are calling, right? You can see the only attribute that will be initialized will be just the name. You can see this the name will be uh, assigned to the name, the input parameter, meaning that all the other attributes and everything except for the name will be initialized to whatever the input variable, right? How, uh, for example, the trainer over here will just be null meaning that initially it simply store no address or simply store something that's not very uh, useful. Just say no, okay, it's a special address. So let's, let's go back here. Let me show you how you can write this assertion here. So there are different ways you can write it. Let me write the one, uh, let me write uh, what you are familiar with. So for example, you can say assert true. Alan.get trainer, no trainer just yet. So I can say no, okay, it's simply equal to no. Another way to do it is there is a special assertion you can also use. Assert uh, and then no. Okay, so you can actually say you simply want to pass some object reference over here and then you will simply assert to see if that object uh, reference will be no. So I can say, for example, mark.get trainer. Okay, guys, so these two assertions are really doing exactly the same thing. Let me explain the difference very quickly. This one here, assert true, is going to make sure this Boolean condition here will be true, will evaluate to true. And this Boolean condition simply check to see Trainer is going to return some object address, some, uh, some trainer object address. And that one should be equal to null, right? That's checking that. On the other hand, you can think about assert now over here is really checking whatever object expression over here, like whatever object address expression over here that we are returning, uh, we are passing over here is equal to now, right? So this is equivalent to, we are checking to see mark.get trainer equals equals now. Okay, so that's something you can also use. And assert uh, now, Another one, okay, just for fun, right? I can also say assert false. Tom get trainer uh, not equal to null, right? Logically, it's really the same, right? Uh, this may not be something you will really write because it's, it does require a little bit of thinking, but that's okay. You know, I'll just I'll tell you why it will pass. Assert false will make sure whatever Boolean expression you're passing over here must evaluate to false. This would. Because Tom that get trainer should really give you now. 
And now, now, now equal to now will just be false. And then assert false will just give you, yes, you will pass, right? So what we are trying to say is, assert false is going to make sure it is not the case that Tom's trainer will be something other than now. It's not the case in the beginning. So that's why assert false will actually pass, right? So all these three will be uh, different ways to write the uh, initial assertion. You can choose whichever you like. But at, at the bottom line, you should really know how to read them. That's the bottom line, right? Now, when you practice, you can you can choose whichever uh, you feel more comfortable. Let's now write uh, run the uh, G, G unit test right away. If you run it, you'll see green bar, right? So we got four tests uh, so far. You can see including uh, the uh, test member trainer 01, right? That's something we got, right? Okay, so let's now continue. Let's say for Alan and Mark, we're going to uh, assign some trainers to them, but let's create two trainers, okay? Uh, let's say uh, trainer, and we may need to import a trainer. So uh, after you type the name, control space, and make sure you import a trainer from the model package. After this, you can see under the import list, you will see model that trainer. So you want to make sure member and trainer from the other uh, from another package outside GUnit tests they should be imported. All right, let's go back to the bottom here. Let's say trainer here. Let's create two trainers uh, for our purpose. Let's say Jared will be new and also trainer and also here let's say jerry okay and then we got another trainer over here let's say trainer john will be new trainer and then let's say john over here yeah as i said uh it's some uh extra exercise if you want you can just uh, extend the attributes and methods for trainer if you wish but for our purpose we don't need to all right so you can see, so far we actually got uh, two kinds of objects. We got three objects of type member. We also got two objects of type trainer. So it will be exciting when we actually try, try to trace this program, which I will do in a moment. All right, so after we got we got trainers, we got members, let's set the trainer. So what I will do is I'm gonna say trainer, and let's say Alan is going to have a uh, Jared, for example. And then let's say Mark is going to have a different trainer. Let's say register trainer. Let's say John. Okay. And you may just want to practice to see if you can visualize already what's going to happen when we are trying to do these, right? I'm going to do that for you uh, together with you. All right. So now let's say after these two, if I simply try to do uh, this over here, let me just copy these three lines, right? Apparently, let's just run, run it. Apparently, we're going to get a red bar, right? Let's uh, see exactly where. So if I double click on this, for the first one it felt is Alan that get trainer equal to now should not be true anymore. It makes sense because Alan has already, regist already registered Jared to be his trainer. So what I can do is uh, his trainer. So I can say not equal to now. And not only that, Alan that get trainer over here should be the same as Jared, the same objects, right? So you can see I'm using conjunction over here. So uh, by asserting that the conjunction is true, so that means this must be true, and also this must be true, all right? And then if I try to run the test again, you will see that I'm still failing. It's gonna expect it. If I double click on this, you can see uh, the one that's failing it, uh, sorry, let me do it again. So if I uh, run the test, you can see if I double click, it tells me 79 is actually failing. That makes sense because Mark also Mark also has registered another trainer, John. So that should be null. So I would suggest for Mark, I'm just going to uh, say true over here, and then I'll do something very similar to uh, for Alan. Okay, I'll say not equal to null, and also Mark dot get trainer get trainer over here should be equal to John, right? Okay, let me remove this comment, which is not applicable anymore. What about Tom? Well, apparently Tom hasn't registered for any uh, trainer just yet, right? So what, what I will do is I'm simply gonna say uh, assert true. And then Tom that get trainer, uh, okay, you know what, assert now maybe. All right, so Tom's trainer will still be now. So now if I try that, you can see, right? So now all the test cases pass, right? Let me do a little bit more, okay? So let's say after this, 
Let's say Tom would like to now get referred by some trainer by either by Alan. Let's say Alan, Mark, and Tom they are friends. So let's say uh, what uh, what Tom would like to do is let's say Tom dot uh, referred trainer. Let's say Tom may just want to be referred by uh, to the trainer of let's say Mark. Okay, so what's going to happen this? Uh, what's going to happen after this? So after this, uh, let's say assert true over here. Let's say Mark dot get trainer should not be now anymore. And who should that be? Right? Well, if you look at that, you can see uh, since uh, uh, Tom is going to be referred to the trainer of Mark, who will be John. So that that's why it will be John. Mark dot get trainer. Maybe it's equal to uh, John. All right. Let's say so far so good, right? You can see it's really like a real life scenarios, right? So, uh, so Tom simply just got referred to the train of Mark, who, who will be John. Let's say maybe after several weeks, maybe somehow it doesn't really work out. Maybe uh, somehow their schedule cannot really fit together. Or maybe simply uh, Tom will actually prefer to try another trainer. So we can say Tom dot refer trainer over here let's say uh, he wants to be referred to the trainer of Alan all right so now after this so now I can just copy this over here so now after this uh, uh, after oh you know what sorry so Tom over here right so uh, this would be Tom beg your pardon so this should be Tom so after Tom being referred to the trainer of Mark so Tom the trainer should not be now anymore and also Tom should really uh, the trainer should be John and then let's say Tom want to be referred to the trainer again of a different member, let's say Alan. In that case, Alan's trainer has been registered as uh, Jared, right? And then, so now I can put Tom over here. Uh, okay, you know what? So I can put Tom over here. Tom that get trainer is not equal to now as before. And the trainer should now be Jared. All right, so it makes sense, hopefully. And then let me run the test case. You can see everything passed, right? So that's the uh, code I would like to trace together with you. And let me post one exercise for you quickly, okay? You can try that and uh, write it and also uh, test it yourself. Exercise, let me put it here. Let me go under the mutator method over here. Okay, let's say exercise. Let's say, let's say uh, having two members, they want to swap their trainers, maybe because there's some schedule conflict or whatever reason. Swap the trainers of uh, two members, okay? So public void swap trainer and then M. Okay, so this, uh, let's say, let me give you some hints basically. So this the uh, trainer should become M dot trainer and also M dot trainer should become this dot trainer and also write some tests for this all right so that will be the exercise for you guys so feel, uh, finish that and then if you got any trouble you can get in touch with me otherwise i think this one will be some nice exercise and this one has connection to the previous video about swapping addresses hopefully you can see that right all right so now i'm going to trace the code together with you to make sure we complete the understanding